Salutations, friends. It's pal, said CB, and I got bored today. Uh, decided to take a drive to unwind a little bit. Uh, ended up out at my uh, one of my favorite chill spots out here at the White Chuck Boat Launch uh, on the Sock River, uh, about 45 minutes from home. And uh, right before I left, uh, I actually got something in the mail that I've been uh, eagerly anticipating. I knew it was coming this week. And uh, I figured, you know, why not uh, unbox it once I get out to my chill spot? Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do momentarily. Uh, but I also got something uh, in the mail, uh, two, a couple of things uh, in the mail today. Uh, first up, boom, been waiting for this as well. Uh, this comes from my homie, my brother, from the EDC round table. You know him. <laughs> Correctly use only, apparently. Oh, magnet. Uh, this comes from uh, Jack's Lungs. Uh, this is off of his newest uh, pocket jewelry uh, drop. Uh, this is a little worry stone that I picked up. This is uh, blue denim and I think crosscut uh, blue linen micarta. And I think these might be Ultim rods uh, in there. I don't remember what the inlay materials were, but uh, yeah. Uh, I don't have it on me, but uh, I thought it would go well with my PNW that's also in blue linen micarta. So a uh, shout out to the homie uh, Jack's Lungs. Uh, his store will be linked in uh, the description. Uh, and you can save 10% on EDC Roundtable. Uh, by using uh, Stevie 10. How about that? That's pretty cool. Uh, and then also, I forgot to grab the card, but I got a nice little uh, care package from uh, Mr. Bobo Schnoggins. Uh, it included some, he said, hey, just some weird shit that I found uh, uh, in thought of you. And he sent it along, which is super awesome. Uh, got some uh, stickers in here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but that's cool. Uh, this one is uh, Copper Shed. Um, what is this? Uh, Jacob Jensen Studios. Uh, Ed Saul Crafts. A couple of those. And this is an Old Dominion uh, Knife Works. Uh, what else was in here? Uh, Jay Hoffman Knives. Uh, and then some uh, cool little uh, mushroom uh, beads. Uh, those are going to go up on my uh, display case that I have in my office. Uh, and then uh, this little frog pin. And there is also a penguin uh, pin. Uh, also included a couple of these. Uh, Take me with you, uh, Bic Lighters. That's super awesome. Uh, and then, <laughs> I don't know how he found these, some Carl gummies. Shout out to Carl. Shout out to Bobo Schnoggins. Uh, let's, these are not special gummies, are they? No, they're not. Uh, but let's uh, open these up and give these a try. Uh, always appreciate some good yums. And these say that they are sour blue raspberry, only five grams of sugar uh, per serving. And they're plant-based, so I guess they're healthy. Um, it's all stuck together. Oh. Lost those. Not bad, actually. Feast like a beast. Those are yum, actually. Uh, so shout out to Bobo Schnoggins. Much appreciated, Bobo. I'll definitely get in touch with you as well. By the way, the unboxing knife is the Spartan Harsey folder. The Sasquatch Special Edition from USA Made Blade. This thing is broken. Lovely. I don't think I've actually done a video on this yet. Uh, maybe I will once I get it back from the little project that I'm going to have done on it. But it's uh, it's smooth as hell. And middle finger flicks it. Uh, no fine. I have been using this uh, quite a bit. Um, I saw videos of Pizza Operator and Forest. Uh, Forest Hanks uh, front flipping this thing. Like, whoa, I just did it. Holy crap, I just did it. I was about to say, I've tried. Okay, maybe I just figured it out here on camera. I can't do it consistently. 
Not like those savages can, but uh, they can front flip all day with theirs. Maybe I just need to uh, practice more. Apparently so. Anywho, let's get into this bad boy. Uh, they've been showing up. Uh, I've been seeing posts on Instagram. Uh, this was a pre-order from back, uh, I don't remember officially when the pre-order closed or was open, but, uh, these are, this is something from, uh, speaking of forest tanks, it's coming from the homie Sharif Manganas, aka the real Sharif, aka Manganas Steel, and heck yeah. This is uh, his first release under his brand, Mangana Steel Concepts. And uh, we got here, yes, look at that, uh, number 42. What? Uh, Sharif was cool enough to let me uh, pick the variant. Um, more of Mangana Steel's logo. More logo. What's this, what is this? Uh, this is a wiping cloth? Oh, yeah. Mangana steel wiping cloth. Uh, he's definitely not letting you forget who this came from. Uh, more uh, Mangana steel. Oh, yes, that's right. It comes with uh, extra um, hardware. A complete uh, extra hardware case, including a pocket clip and bearings. And then... Here is the card of authenticity and a nice little uh, uh, inclusion. So for those of you that don't know, this is the Kaimano, uh, the crocodile uh, nav. Uh, but uh, we got the card of authenticity here. So one of the things that uh, took Sharif so long, I guess, uh, which I think it took an appropriate amount of time being a one man crew uh, he completely hand QC'd every single one before he sent them out. Uh, so, uh, the certificate of authenticity, uh, we got, uh, the Kaimano Tanto, uh, an S35B VN, uh, with an HRC of 60 to 62. He really pushed for that HRC. Uh, and then obviously, uh, the maker, Mangana Steel, designed by Marif Shanganas, and his quality control checklist you can see there uh, he went through and made sure everything was going to be tight and right uh, so we got uh, oh and he drew me a, a little mushroom on there uh, but uh, the visual review overlay consistency blade centering action review blade play lock rock detent lash even grinds backed by a full warranty here uh, yeah let you guys read that there although is it going to be backwards it might be backwards since I'm doing the reverse uh, facing here, but all right, uh, nine minutes in and I haven't shown the knife yet. Someone's gonna complain about that, but here we go. Yeah, baby. So uh, I reviewed the uh, prototype and oh, oh boy. Uh, all right, so he had two variants. Uh, he had a, I think it's natural micarta and the purple haze fat carbon. I obviously opted for the Purple Haze Fat Carbon. Uh, I'm not gonna have the specs on this here for you, but I'll leave a link to msknives.com uh, 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 and I'll have, uh, maybe I'll see if I can roll in the specs here or there uh, real quick. But uh, yeah, this is good. I forgot how awesome this feels in hand. Uh, we got flipper uh, tab and a aperture uh, for deployment. Uh, let's give it a flick. Nick. Look at that bad mamma jamma. Look at that nice, awesome hollow grind, compound grind, an aggressive tanto, the sweet poon. Uh, yeah, this thing is dope. Where is the number marking? Boom, I don't know if it'll show up there, but right on the blade, uh, you see number 42. Will that focus? Maybe not, but it's there. I got lucky number 42 and yeah, this thing is, uh, this is money, money. Uh, so you have a uh, bolster uh, lock here, uh, nice, this fat carbon. 
I think it's a, it's a nicer looking fat carbon, uh, purple haze fat. Is it camel carbon, fat carbon? I don't remember. But uh, I think it looks a little nicer than the prototype that I had, for sure. Uh, nice jimping uh, into kind of that thumb ramp. It's just, it's so comfortable in hand. Uh, visually, you have a nice looking geared, uh, raised uh, backspacer there uh, that you don't feel in hand. Uh, this thing is just ergos wise, it's great. And look at that tip on there. Ooh boy. This is this is wicked. And yeah, the action on this is just the acoustics on it are great. The action's great. Uh, this is gonna be a fabulous uh, cutter for sure. Uh, the edge feels uh, very, very, very uh, sharp. Let's see uh, if it can process the box here. No problem. Yeah, this thing's sharp AF. Nice. Well done, Sharif. This design is wicked. Uh, you know I'm super proud of you, brother. Uh, for those of you that might not know uh, uh, Sharif Manganis, uh, you uh, might know some of his other designs like the Kaiser Grazioso. I should mention, by the way, the OEM on this is Kaiser. Uh, but he's done the Kaiser Grazioso. Uh, he's done the Kube Momentum, the, the Kube Veloce, uh, the Kube... Um, I'm drawing blanks on his other designs. I got them all. And then two, just, two of his older designs just got released. The RCB and the RCB one and I'm not great with names, um, but uh, that's Sharif Manganis, uh, our good pal, uh, someone who I've uh, legitimately become great friends with, and I'm not saying this is a good knife just because Sharif is a homie. Legitimately, a really good knife. Uh, so again, super proud. Uh, the retail price on this. Uh, I don't know if it was a special price um, for the pre-order, but I paid, I want to say, all right, it's not on my invoice, but I think that this was $275. I'm almost certain uh, this was $275. Uh, and then it was a little bit cheaper for the Micarta uh, version. Without seeing the prices listed on the website right now, um, I think there might be a little bit of a price increase because he, I think he gave a little discount for the folks that got in on the pre-order. Um, but even still, it's under 300 bucks and this is a great value for this knife. Again, the ergos are great. This is gonna be a great user. Um, you know, I didn't bother checking the centering and all that, like, I mean, he did, but definitely there's no, there's no uh, lash, detent lash, uh, it's centered. See me whacking it? I just whacked it a bunch of times. Solid lockup. No problems there. So, middle finger flicks just fine. Thumb flicks just fine. Like, it's got kind of like a palm swell like you would see on a pistol that makes it, makes it comfortable in hand. Yeah, this is a great knife. It really is. So, uh, if you haven't got in on the pre-order uh, and got yours already, check one out. I definitely recommend uh, this knife. Uh, and then he's got some other goodies on the uh, website uh, as well. I grabbed them. Um, I think uh, he's still, he might still have these uh, Forrest Hank uh, uh, collab uh, in stock with his uh, logo there. And then I got one of his, uh, I don't have the bead with me, but he's got an awesome bead. Uh, I think that's available. Uh, and then I got this little pack of, um, uh, he had these little swag packs for sale that includes uh, a limited edition uh, Kaimano sticker. Uh, his, uh, what I like to call like his guitar pick uh, holographic logo. A ding, 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 ding. Sharif Manganis, Manganis Steel Concepts uh, uh, sticker. And then these uh, dope coins or uh, poker chips. What did I get on me? I got something on me. I don't know what. But uh, it's got that on one side and then Manganis on the other. So, again, shout out to uh, the homie 
Sharif Mangana. Shout out to Bobo Schnoggins for all the awesomeness. Uh, here comes someone. It's a good time to wrap this up. Uh, and then, of course, shout out to uh, Jack's Lungs. And boom, there you go. The Kaimano from Mangana Steel Concepts. Banger of a knife uh, for a first uh, release under his own uh, brand. I think that this is an absolute home run. So that's all I got for you folks. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, subscribe and like that video and all that good stuff. And uh, I definitely appreciate you folks tuning in. And until the next one, I bid you mofos, all deuces. Bye-bye.